Today's lesson is going to answer the question, why are noble gases stable? Most of the time when you hear the answer to this response, you just get the tip of the iceberg. The answer might be something like this, noble gases are stable because the electron shell is full. But if you think about it, that's really not an answer and brings up one of Miss Bacchus's pet peeves. That's kind of like asking the question, why do you like oranges? And the person responding, I like oranges because they are fruit. If you think about it, they didn't really answer the question because now you don't know why they like fruit. Maybe they like fruit and oranges because they're sweet, or maybe they like fruit and oranges because they have vitamins, or maybe they like fruit and oranges because they're important in the food pyramid. But you still don't know the answer to the question. So we need to dig a little deeper, dig below the top surface of the iceberg and find out what the real answer is. So why are noble gases stable? Because the electron orbitals are full. Well, why are full shells stable? That's the question we now need to answer. So let's go back and review some of the things we've talked about in previous videos. Atoms react by losing, gaining, or sharing electrons. And having a full shell helps explain why noble gases do not gain or share electrons. So here is an example of neon, which is a noble gas. So why won't they gain or share electrons? And that's because to add or gain an electron, they would need to go to a higher energy level because all of these orbitals are full and have no room for an extra electron. So any new electron that you gained or shared would have to go in the higher orbital. Now this orbital is further from the nucleus. So if you remember our equation about the force, that would increase the r squared value. Not only is this electron further from the nucleus, it is shielded by all of these electrons. They're between the nucleus and the 3s orbital, so lots of shielding. When you have lots of shielding, you have very low nuclear, effective nuclear charge, so that Q1 value goes down. So if Q1 goes down and R squared goes up, the force is very, very small. And this force then is too low to hold on to any new or extra electrons. And remember, that gives them a zero electronegativity. So having a full shell makes it difficult to gain electrons. But that's only half the story. Atoms could not only gain electrons, they could also lose electrons. So why don't noble gases lose electrons? And the answer, being full, has nothing to do with why noble gases won't lose electrons. So now we have to answer this question. So let's review again what we've had on previous lessons. Here's a periodic table. As you go from left to right, the atom size decreases. Atoms get very small, so the noble gases are small. Also, as you go from left to right, the effective nuclear charge increase. Why? Because each time you go from left to right, you add a proton without adding much more shielding from electrons. So what do we get? We have a very large Q value and a very small R value, which gives us a large force. So a large force is attracting the outer electrons to the nucleus, which makes it very difficult to lose an electron and it gives a high ionization energy. So noble gases won't lose electrons either. So what is a better answer to the question that why noble gases are stable? They are stable because one, they won't lose electrons. Their small size and high effective nuclear charge gives them high ionization energy. There is a large force holding on to those electrons. Two, they won't gain or share electrons. Why? 
because adding electrons requires using a higher energy level orbit. This orbital is too far away and has too much shielding, so the force at this outer energy level is too low to hold on to new electrons, so they won't gain any either. So that's the reason why noble gases are stable. There is some other electron configurations that have stability also, not as stable as the noble gases, and that's when the um, subshell is full, such as the 3D subshell, and sometimes there's stability when there's a half full subshell. But this time, I'm going to leave those explanations to you. So, thanks for listening, and I hope you can now answer the question, why are noble gases stable?